welcome to another amazing, super duper, gigantic, galactic, epic sign, Pete. Pete, Indeed. Yeah. Now, you may notice today, Peter, that I'm wearing a yellow jacket. Yeah, why is that, Simon? Because I can't find my blue one. But also, oh, because I'm going to tell you a story today. Oh, I like a good story. Yes, and this story involves lots of water. Oh, uh, speaking of water, I'm very, very, very thirsty. So okay. So I've got two jugs of water. That's a lot of water, So though, I'm just going to have a drink. Okay. And you can tell your story. And it's, it's great that they both involve water. They do. Now for this story, I do need to draw a little picture. So I'm just going to draw this picture here, because uh, this is quite essential for this story, because it's about lots of these. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do this here, and just do this there, a bit here, there, hmm. and there. Okay, okay, there we go. I don't know how many of these they have, I'm going to put one there as well. There we go, great. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a story about a man in the Bible called Jonah. Jonah, that's a cool yeah, story. Yeah, it's a great story. It's a great yeah. name too. Jonah. And he was really cool. Um, and Jonah was friends with God. Cool. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Yes. And uh, they were really good friends. And Jonah would pray to God every day. And God would talk to Jonah. And Jonah was a little bit like a postman for God. He would go around and tell people messages mm -hmm. from God. He also quite liked to have a bit of fish. He used to like eating fish. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's a good oh. meal. Yeah. I think. So yeah. one day... God was talking to Jonah and said, Jonah, I want you to go to a place called Nineveh. Can you say Nineveh? Nineveh. Nineveh. Well done. Yeah. Well done. I'm very proud of you. Nineveh. And he said, I want you to go there and tell them to stop being naughty. They're being naughty. They were. They were very naughty people. And God wasn't happy with them. So he said, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and tell them to stop being naughty. So Jonah thought, hmm. That's a big thing to do. Yeah. I might go and have a piece of fish for lunch first and think about it. So he yeah. did that. You okay there? I'm, I'm fine. So Great. I'm fine. So he did that. Uh, and after eating the fish, uh, followed by some fish paste, and he had a drink of uh, tea, I think. Oh, um, after all that happened, he said, God, you know what? I can't do this. No. I'm too scared. Yeah. It's too big a deal. They're scary people. I can't do it. And so what he did was he went back to the fish shop had some more fish, because he really liked it. Lovely. And then he got on a boat to a place called Tarshish. Lovely. Yes, Tarshish. Tarshish. Interesting place. They had a special dish there in Tarshish. Yes, oh. it, was, it, was, it was a fish dish. Oh. It was very nice. It was called Tarshish fish dish. Oh. OK. Anyway, so he got the boat to Tarshish. OK. Oh. And he thought, I'm going to run away from, and hide from God. He'll never find me. And then I don't need to go to Nineveh to and tell him to stop. Are yeah. you OK there? Yeah, I just. I just really need a drink. Well, well drink it. You're, but, you're, yeah, you're I'm, splitting it. It's fine. It's drink fine. it. Okay. Whoa. So he gets in the boat uh -huh. on the way to Tarshish. Tarshish. Now on the boat, something amazing happened. Really? What's that? A big storm just erupted and happened. And there was rain and thunder and lightning. And there was big crashing waves. And there were fish Whoa. fly everywhere. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Great. Lots of fish. Oh. <laughs> it was going. Crazy! Oh, yeah. And all the people on the boat were scared, including the man with the big beard and fish breath. He was very smelly breath. And oh, Jonah thought, oh breath. no, I know what's going on. This is because I'm running away from God. Mm. Not good. Which is a silly thing to do, really. Very silly. So, <laughs> he was on the boat trying to run away from God. Uh, and he thought, this is bad. I can't do this. All these people are in danger. Especially oh, no. the man with the big beard and the fish breath. <laughs> so <laughs> Jonah said, you know what you need to do? Throw me overboard. Throw him overboard. Overboard oh, okay. into the sea. Whoa. So the people on the boat were a bit confused, but they thought, well, this is a big storm. Yeah. And, and we're Any, in danger. Anything might help. Anything might help. And Jonah mm. said, this is my fault because I'm running away from God. Mm. So Jonah said, OK, here we go. And they picked him up and threw him overboard. Oh. So Jonah was in the water going, blah, 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 blah. Going past crabs, mm. past some shrimp. Oh, I like shrimp. And lots of fish. Oh. And he goes down and down and down into the water. Oh, right. And then all of a sudden, yeah. the most incredible thing happens. What's this most incredible thing, Simon? Well, he's, he's in the water in the sea sinking. Yeah. And this massive, humongous, gigantic fish oh! swims up and swallows him up. Oh, great. Great. <laughs> swallows him up whole. Swallows him whole. That's, yeah. Doesn't chew him. Just swallows him. Oh. And so Jonah's then <sighs> inside the belly of this great, big, swimming animal. Mm. Known as a fish! Oh, 
and he's inside and he's in there for three days. Three, right. three I don't know about days. you, but the thought of being inside the belly of a fish for three days <laughs> is very good. It's, it's terrifying. It's going to be full of all kinds of stuff. Oh my god. There'll be, there'll be bits of shoe, there'll be bits of crab, there'll be lots of half the digested fish, <gasps> all sorts of stuff. Are you okay there? I'm fine. I'm Great, fine. okay. Yeah. So anyway, he's inside the belly of this fish <laughs> for three days and he's in there thinking, you know what? What I've been, what I've been doing is very silly. Yes. Trying to run away from God. Yes. And Not so he prayed to God and said, God, I'm really sorry of running away and I'm, please forgive me. And it is scary. I am fearful of doing what you've asked me to do, but I will do it. I will trust you and do it. So That's three days later, yeah. The big fish swims up. You okay? I'm, fine. I'm just okay. trying to have swims a drink. Swims up to the side of the beach. Oh, and well, that is sick. And goes. Oh. And out comes Jonah from the big fish, oh. along with bits of chopped up carrot. Why is it when you're ill, there's always bits of carrot in? I it's have sick. no idea. It's quite disgusting, isn't it? Anyway, oh. so he's out of the sick of the fish from yeah. the sick. No, the sick from the fish. Okay. There were other bits of fish in the sick, but he came oh. out of the fish. Oh. Covered it in yucky sick. He had a shower, which he found. Shower. Yeah, there was a little shower cubicle. Oh, lovely! At the back of the fish <laughs> shop that sold the Tarshish fish dish. <laughs> it was very lovely. <laughs> very kind in there. Oh, so lovely. he eventually finishes his shower oh. and he goes to Nineveh. Nineveh. Knocks on the door. Yeah. Well, uh, it was a big door. It was a big kind of city, a big okay. city door. Knocks yeah. on the door, and they let him in. He says, um, "Hello, my name is Jonah. I'm friends with God in heaven." And he says, "To stop being naughty." Yeah, stop being naughty. Now that's he was thinking, that's it, they're going to take me, arrest me, and, and I'm in trouble. And do you know what they said? What did they say? They said, Jonah, we hear what you say, and we will obey what God says. <gasps> Jonah couldn't believe it. That's exactly, incredible. He was like, what? He was scared for all that time. He was. He was inside the belly of a great big oh. fish all that time. And he didn't have to be if he just listened to God and trusted God in the first place. Yeah. And the people in Nineveh were very happy. Yeah. They changed, they became nice people, and oh. they had a massive fish party! Yeah. With lots of fish. Oh, yeah. yeah, fish Great. party. I think they even pulled in some takeaway Tarshish fish dish. Oh. It was a fantastic party. Yeah. <laughs> Great time. So, Peter, um, <laughs> Peter, um, you're, you're now kind of swimming in water. Uh. I thought you said you wanted a drink of water, not a bath. What, what, what's going on? Uh. Well, you see, the thing is, Simon, I'm, I'm really scared of F I S H. What's that, fish? Ah! <laughs> Stop it, Simon! <sighs> so you're scared of fish? <gasps> yes. Oh, oh terrified! So, so, so I was telling you a story about Jonah and yes. the big fish, <gasps> and all the time you were you were scared and fearful because you don't like fish. <gasps> oh, I don't like fish. Why do you say so? What? Well. well I just wanted you to tell the story, right? and I was just trying to have a drink, and... Then you could have told me like two jugs ago. <sighs> oh, so, yeah. uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Oh. There's me in this waterproof, lovely uh, wetsuit. Which is quite convenient, really. Oh, uh, you should be wearing this instead, oh, shouldn't you? When we're scared of stuff, yeah. we can ask God for help, because he loves us, and he's always there for us. Whether it's a wow. small thing, or a big thing, God is for us and loves us. Do you, do you, do you have a Bible verse? It just so happens I do! Ooh. And here it is, this is a great verse of the Bible, and yeah. this is in the book of Psalm, this is Psalm 23. Wow, okay. And it says this, The yeah. Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in green pastures, he leads me to calm water, he gives me new strength, he leads me on paths that are right for the good of his name. Even if I walk through a dark valley, scary things, and, and we're worried about stuff, yeah. I will not be afraid because you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You prepare a meal for me in front of my enemies. You pour oil on my head. You fill my cup to overflowing. Surely your goodness and love will be with me all my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Oh, how awesome that is that? That is amazing! So, so, so that's talking about how God's always with me and he's guiding me and mm -hmm. I don't have to be afraid because he's always there! Uh, yes, that's right! That's brilliant! How awesome! That's so, not, oh. I think... Uh, uh, would, you like a, would you like a drink, Simon? You know, I'd love a drink. Me? And I was thinking, are you hungry? I'm really hungry. Because I was thinking we can go get some fish and chips for lunch. Oh, that'd be lovely! Oh, look, you didn't, you didn't... Oh, I wasn't scared! Oh, that's a good side, Simon. Okay, oh, yeah. Do you know what? I think, What's that? You know what I think we should have for pudding? What's that? A banana. Ah! Oh! Bing Bible Bits.
Hello kids and welcome back to another edition of the Little Big Game Show with me, your host, Sven the Loonings. Let's say hello back. Hello back. And let's say hello to our guest, the Loonings. It's Petey. Hi. Hi, Petey. And it's Simon. What? what? That's not Simon, that's Sid. What? Sid, what are you doing here? You want to play the game? Okay, Sid is in. Let's give you a name card. There it is. We know it's Sid now. Okay, let's play this game. You guys know the game is true or false. I ask the questions, and the guys hit the buzzers, and then they win some prizes. Is that right with you? Yeah. Are you ready to play the game? Yeah. Because I haven't got time to milk a cow. Let's say hi to a little Wavy David to our cameraman. Hey. There he is, Wavy David. <laughs> I love you, Davy. Okay, here we go. This is the question. It's a very important question. Have a little listen to this one, kiddos. The question is this. The Bible, the Bible is available to people to read in more than 2,233 languages. True or false? Oh, Sydney gets in there first. Sydney, that's incredible, buddy. Petey, I'm sorry. What are you going to say? You're going to say false. This is big, tense. Could Sydney win it? Let's find out. Let's go to the big screen. It's true. Sydney, you win it. Which means we got to say here the tissues because we miss you, Petey. And here's the banana. Oh, this thing's really. It's having a bad time. Look up there for Sydney. Sydney, it's time to find out what Sydney won. Let's have a look. Sydney, you could have won. Oh my goodness, Sydney has a huge kitchen with a lovely dishwasher. That's amazing. We didn't win that. I tell you what else you could have won. A day cooking with Wavy Davy. But you didn't win that. You know what you won? What's that, Sydney? You ready for it? Okay, here it comes. You won an Eiffel Tower. You want to hold that? You want to hold that? Can't hold it because he can't. That's it. We're going to say goodbye. Hello back. On this week's Bible bits, we learn not to be afraid. Just like Joe was in the belly of a whale. But God is our friend, he loves us very much. So don't forget your Bible bits. One more time, Peter! On this week's Bible bits, we learn not to be afraid. Just like Jonah was in the belly of a whale. But God is our friend, he loves us very much. So don't forget your Bible bits. Don't forget to read your face. Ha <laughs> ha!